Today we are going to go over our top five songs from the Yokushu Fukushu album. We fought long and hard over this top five. <laughs> My name is Eric, that's Alan, and we are Dicotic! Make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below letting us know what your top five is. Let's see if it is different from ours or not, but ours is definitely the definitive top five list, you know. Hell yeah, it is. It this, is. Is a, this is our opinion, okay? Okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video! Alright! Our five! Alien! Alien. I remember we went ape <laughs> when we first heard this song. One thing I really loved about this song is how it takes you from the heaviest of heavy genres, from like that deathcore, metalcore, really fast hardcore punk, to your most poppiest sound by the end of it. That's one of my favorite things about this. I just love the chaos. It's not, chaos is something I don't really like tend to listen to, but it's just done so well in this song. I love it. It's organized chaos. Controlled chaos. Mm. All right, so our number four is Benjo Sandal Dance. Ooh. And my favorite part about this whole song is just one of those, it's such a simple melody, but it gets stuck in my head all the time. Where it's like, <laughs> what I love about it, it's just a, like a straight up solid song throughout the whole day. And then also to add some of the kitschy melody. All right, a number three pick is unbelievable. I is it unbelievable? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's unbelievable that the song isn't higher up the list. It's unbelievable that we were able to agree on a top five without dying. That too. <laughs> First off, this song immediately is the most interesting song off the record, hands down, I believe. And then also it just brings some sexy bass lines into it, you know? Sexy. Is that, is that what it brings? It brings that sexy. Sexy. Well, I'm not sexy. <laughs> the bass line. Yeah, for me, dude, three is just, it's the only song that starts off with that. It has that funky riff in the beginning, like you were saying. And I also love the fact of how confused we were. It was Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> <How confused> we were. <laughs> I think that, that's Rio. Is that Rio? I think that's Rio. I think it's now and Rio at the same time. I think she's coming in at some parts, but I think it's mostly just him. <laughs> With the vocals in the beginning, because it's like it's all three of them doing these higher parts like here and there. It's definitely Rio. Yeah. It was definitely Rio though. We what did we think it was? I don't remember. I thought you, you I it, think it you thought amazing. it was Uichan or something. It was amazing. It doesn't matter. It was good. Yeah. That's a great song. Love it. Best. So it's number three. The best. Number two, and I cannot wait to hear Eric try to pronounce this song name. You guys probably already know which one it is now, but it's what's number two. Utsukushi, Utsukushiki he, Hitobito no Uta. Hitobito no Uta. How did he do? Horribly. I, I gave myself a two. Out of three. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the intensity that they keep throughout the whole song. Also love the back and forth between Rio and Dicegate epic song all around. Love it. For me, it has one of the catchiest pop punk choruses I've ever heard. Because it's straight up, it's like it just has that pop punk feel and it just it sounds awesome. It's amazing. And it keeps going back too, and there's other catchy parts in there, just the vocals are catchy. Uh, on their own, just alone. It's just a very catchy song. Now raps. And now raps. I think we're a little biased because I think we love Now's vocals a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's why we <laughs> clap out of nowhere whenever she starts singing. <laughs> so, you know. Drum roll! Drum roll! And our what pick is it? What is it? for the number one spot! That's what it stands for. It stands for <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. All seriousness, it stands for Frieza, which is one of the reasons. One of the reasons why I love this song because of the Dragon Ball reference. Frieza. Frieza. Dragon Ball Z reference. My bad. My bad. And one of the reasons I love this song is because it's the most well structured out song in the whole record. I have nothing else to add to that because I completely agree with Eric. It's a very well structured song, but still has its moments of. What's the word for it? That is our top five songs for Maximum Hormone. 
Yoshi Fukushu. Big shout out to all of you for supporting the channel. Big special shout out to our friend Robert Dyer. Nipples are hard. Wank!